Today marks two years since the bombings at the Boston Marathon, an event that draws half a million spectators every year. On April 15, 2013, three people were killed and more than 200 others were injured. But in Dallas, there's a runner who helped take back the finish line last year and is determined to do it again. Our very own Ashley Allen has the story. All right. <laughs> First mile is always rough. Another day of training for 52-year-old Ron McCracken. It's usually at least three or four miles a day. And when he says a day, he means every day. Today's going to make 5,758 days in a row. Nearly 16 years of running. His rule, it has to be at least a mile. But as he gears up for his 15th Boston Marathon, it's no longer about the distance, especially when he remembers that tragic day. As far back as you could see, there were emergency vehicles down Commonwealth. More ambulances than I've ever seen in my life. He boarded a plane the next morning and embarked on what he calls the most tense year of his entire life. All year long, all I thought about was I needed to go to the bombing sites and uh, lay some flowers. Yeah. Um, that was just burning through me. When he finally got that chance last year, the world watched. This photo taken by AP photographer Matt Rourke went viral, splashed across everything from the Dallas Morning News to New York Post. And now the American flag you see there is a part of Ron's daily training. I told the strangers to go, hey, aren't you the guy that runs with the flag? Sentencing for the convicted bomber begins one day after this year's race. But Ron says the impending decision only makes him more determined. For me, it, it fuels it because it makes it more passionate. Not for the miles or the time, but for the honor of being Boston strong. Ashley Allen, KCEN HD News. And Ashley tells us Ron leaves for Boston this Saturday because the big race is on Monday. He's still raising money for the trip through a GoFundMe account. If you'd like to help him on his journey, you can find the link at our website. Just go to KCENTV.com.